Hi, I'm Mark Regera from Finance in the Server and Tool Business Group, and I'm here with Susan Hauser, who is the Corporate Vice President of the Enterprise and Partner Group at Microsoft. Susan oversees the commercial and public sector business at Microsoft, which includes our industry sectors and global account organization. Susan is responsible for driving worldwide sales and marketing, as well as solution and partner development for our enterprise customers. Susan, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. I'm a finance guy, and uh, one thing I think about uh, your world is the amount of data you have to deal with. You look after thousands of customers who buy dozens of different products and a lot of licensing options. Can you tell us a little bit about how you deal with this amount of data? Well, first of all, thank you very much for the opportunity to talk with you today and to share my experience running our enterprise business, which is a very important part of our overall business portfolio, and explain about how I use and how we use our BI tools to support running the business. And it's not just about looking at data. This is a lot of data, and we've always had a lot of data, but the importance of being able to use that data to make decisions and make decisions in a much more quicker time frame. I actually balance my time between be being in the field with our customers and partners. I always, for me, being in front line is, is very important. But I also have to be back in Redmond driving the business. And it's, what's really important is that knowing how to actually leverage this data to be able to understand what are the trends? How do I take those trends and make good decisions? And so what I'm finding more and more is our teams were initially presenting me with very static information with PowerPoint slides and spreadsheets. They looked really pretty, but I was always sort of feeling like I was missing something. And what I really needed was them to synthesize the information down to some key issues to facilitate more of a discussion and the static slides didn't do that. It didn't afford me the ability to drill down in areas where I had questions like, you know, how do I actually really understand that data? So um, you, you've used, in the, I understand, the last few months, uh, SQL Server 2012 with PowerView. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit how does uh, that product help you uh, discover more insight uh, in your data? PowerView has had a significant impact in the way we conduct our business reviews now. No longer do I look at static data. PowerView has allowed me to be more productive, more dynamic dialogue, and have deeper, rich time conversations. So maybe we can look at a real example to show how we can explore data with PowerView. Excellent. I love looking at real examples. Let's do it. Okay. Let's take uh, an example where we have the revenue by geography on, on one side and on the other side the variance to budget by mm -hmm. region, by pricing level that shows an idea which is coming from new or existing customers and by product. So how would you go about exploring this information? Well, if I looked at uh, this information, the first thing I would sort of draw my attention to is Carthage. It looks like they're doing much better than some of the other areas. Can we find out and maybe double click and understand is there some best practices? Why are they doing better? So this is one of my favorite features of PowerView. When you click on Cartage, and you're basically filtering and seeing the result of Cartage in context of the, uh, the total, which is showing in the gray background. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So they are doing much better overall. But then if I look over here, it looks like they're not doing well on the new business. Is there a way to understand if that's just this particular area, Carthage, or all the areas? So. Let's look, but again, we just click on new, and by doing that, we're mm -hmm. going to look at the new business performance in context of the total. Interesting. So, in fact, they're not doing well on, on new business, even though their overall business is healthy. And then I'm also seeing here that there are trends in some of the other areas where they're also having struggling on the new business. What's interesting, in the past, if we were just looking at a static view, I would have just assumed all is well in Carthage, and I wouldn't have dug into where are they really doing well and where can we improve. So that's right. So in a couple of clicks, we're able to peel the onion and drill into uh, in ways that wouldn't have been possible in the past. Incredible. That's great. So thank you, Susan, for uh, talking about the enterprise business and how you use Microsoft Business Intelligence tools to explore data, discover insight, and drive impact. Yeah, thank you, Mark. It's been great to have an opportunity to chat with you. You know, I really, I'm a huge fan. I love using PowerView. So very exciting. And thanks again for having us. Thank you, Susan.